Hello once again everybody, Steve Pelican, get you updated what's happening with Louisiana Raging Cajun softball. Of course the Cajuns last week in San Marcos, Texas for the 2015 Sunbelt Conference Tournament Championship. Unfortunately, the Cajuns come up a little bit short in the championship game. They beat Georgia State in the first game, but they played 10-2 on Thursday. Then won the winner's bracket final over South Alabama, winning it by the final score of 6-3, and then fell to South Alabama in the championship game 2-0, got a credit. South Alabama freshman pitcher Devin Brown, who replaced Slaughter Farish Beard in the first inning. Uh, the rest of the way, she was outstanding, holding the Cajuns' lethal bats down. Uh, South Alabama went on to win by the final score of 2 to nothing. Keep in mind that the Cajuns had hit nine home runs in the first two games that they played. So, again, that just goes to show you uh, the job that Devin Brown did. Only the fourth time in 16 years that the Cajuns don't win the Sun Belt Conference postseason tournament championship. Of course, they won it 12 times. South Alabama won it for a second time. FAU and WKU, two schools which are no longer in the league, have captured the other two Sun Belt Conference postseason tournament championships. Of course, now the Cajuns move on to the NCAA Regionals for the 25th time in the last 26 years. They will play host to the Lafayette, Louisiana Regional this weekend, playing host to Weber State, Mississippi State, and the Baylor Bears. And, of course, the Cajuns still uh, one of the more lethal offenses in the country with 106 home runs on the season. That is a new school record. And, of course, Lexi Elkins now with 29 home runs on the season. The junior from Victoria High High school in Victoria, Texas, only one home run shy of the uh, single season record for a Raging Cajun player. Danielle Gomez hit 30 back in 2006, but it's not just Elkins. You know, you, you look at the rest of this lineup, the freshman Aaliyah Creighton hitting a 385 on the season along with 11 homers, 42 RBIs. Shelly Landry, the junior from St. Thomas More High School, batting a 377, 19 homers, 55 RBIs. Of course, Haley Hayden sets the table at the top of the Cajun batting order. The sophomore out of 373, 13 homers, 50 RBIs, and Kelsey Vincent, the junior from Tomball, Texas, in uh, or Tomball High School in Tomball, Texas, uh, hitting a 326 right now, 16 homers, 38 RBIs, and Samantha Walsh has added 13 homers and 40 RBIs. So it's kind of like pick your poison for the Cajuns this year. So again, the Cajuns go two and one in the Sun Belt Conference postseason tournament. They lose in the championship game to South Alabama, but now on to uh, a bigger prize, the NCAA Regionals. Of course, the Cajuns uh, have um, qualified for the Women's College World Series six times in program history, including last year. So going to try to make their run to another trip to Oklahoma City beginning this weekend with the Lafayette, Louisiana Regional. For ESPN1420.com, I'm Steve Pelliquin.